have you guessed with the color orange which one you're making yes it's anxiety roll some orange and this time I'm using the smallest of my cutter here usually I use the second one place this aside and then let's roll this back again and then using the biggest cutter here what you're going to do is slightly press and cut it in that oval shape now press it again and cut it back something like this now smoothen it from sides and gently stretch it and curve it a bit like this stretching it on both the sides so just keep this and stretch it either side to get it nice and even now what we are going to do is trim this a bit so using my knife I'm going to cut it straight like this and then using your dressed and tool you are going to mark the inside so just mark it first and then press it like this Now take one small piece of black, just roll it a bit and place it here. Flatten it. I'm just going to use my rolling pin. And once you're happy with it, press it right in. You could even use a ball tool to do that. So you get that kind of gap there so 
So basically we need that depth so that we can add our teeth and you know it looks like his mouth and we have a dimension there. Okay, once you're happy with this, let's add some teeth. Okay, now let's leave it aside and roll one along it a piece of orange. Now using your knife, just cut one straight line and then just one rectangular piece I would say with rounded ends and one more piece that is slightly bigger so that is basically for his mouth I'm going to cut this a little place it and check if it fits and if you're happy with it okay now we need to make teeth that go underneath that so we won't glue this let's make the teeth add that and then we will glue everything together Take some white and using a drop shape cutter, you just cut out some drops there. I have few of these droplets here now and using one big circular cutter I'm also going to use up this this is for his eyes he's got rather big eyes there so I'm going to cut one more and then we'll start placing his teeth okay so I have his eyes and some droplets here for his teeth now let's start gluing them we won't glue this we will first glue our teeth and then glue everything together I just realized my son said anxiety is a female so I don't know why I thought it's a male character there but it's a female character so I'm sorry anxiety I mixed you up add a bit of glue and start placing those so she sort of has a bit of gap in her teeth She's quite anxious about meeting other characters there. And one of my kids' favorite character, I would say.
I guess we will fit one more at the top there. Just paste this out. And some for the bottom layer now. So I'm sort of filling those gaps now. these look enough so once you're happy apply some glue on this part here and press it like this Similarly, apply some glue here. And gently press this as well. Now, just blend the edges and smoothen it. Let's place it on the circle here. So sort of here and the eyes would be going up here. Okay, apply some glue here and place this like this. Now his her. <laughs> Her eyes are going to go up here, but before her eyes, I'm going to do her hair. So what I have here is my orange fondant that I'm going to roll into thin strings like this. And place it up here. So I'm going to roll all of them now and then we'll start gluing it. So I have a few bits that I've got. I'm going to apply some glue and starting with this one just press it. So randomly keep gluing
and you can you know just shape them later you know once you've glued everything together some on this end you could also use you know like a clay gun or an extruder to do this if you're not comfortable rolling them with your hands or if you're good using your scissors just cut out strips that is going to work as well Okay, I'm happy with this hair here now. Applying some glue here. And place these together. Let's paint her eyes. dark green color how I'm gonna also throw us Take some dark green and go along the edges. Take some blue as well, just a tiny bit there. Again, in that same brush, take some green. Using a thicker brush, just blend it. So 
So I'm using this circular motion when I'm blending. I'm going on my left and my right using a circular motion. Take some blue and blend. So anxiety has got this green, you know, greenish blue eyes there. Now take some brown, mix it with black and those eyeballs. Again, grab your thin brush and take some brown blend it with that green there. So it kind of gives you that sap green when you mix it with brown and as I always do that kind of outline and then you are blending it all over. Now take some blue, highlight a bit, let it dry a bit of white And we'll go over it again with some white when it you know dries. So meanwhile we finish this one. Once again, some brown mixed with green. So I already have that green in my brush, you know. I don't really have to dip my brush in in that green there. It automatically just picks up that color. Plus you have green that you have already painted here. So just take some brown and that should work. I'm just taking some light blue because it's dried so I need something for blending and then blend it. Again take some light blue white and a bit of white here
Now take a good amount of white and add these dots. Okay, once this is done, take some brown, take some brown, roll it and into the, into the shape of the eyebrows and just apply some glue. And the other one, same thing, roll it, apply some glue, now you can even shape that hair the way you want it to dry. Using a bit of the blush there, add a bit of shading. So that's my dark pink that I'm using. the sides and then take some dark brown And just give a bit of that outline on the top edge there. Same thing on the other eye. And here we go. Our anxiety is on ready. <laughs> so our anxiety is ready to go on the cupcake here. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. 